Welcome back to the channel. I just bought two lockers online. One is a 10 by 15. I paid $60 for it. And the other one is a 5 by 10 that I paid just $20 for. We're gonna go uh, see what these lockers look like and see what we find in them. Paid just $60 for this locker. It's got a cedar chest there, looks pretty nice. Lots of furniture, a couple dressers, a couple nightstands in there, lots of mattresses. Very fine china set, be careful. I think we'll do pretty well with this stuff, especially for 60 bucks. Here's one of the lockers that we bought. Paid just 20 bucks for this locker. Look, there's a bed frame. We'll be able to sell that bed frame for 20 bucks. That'll pay for the locker. Uh, a lot of uh, milk crates in here that are full of paperwork and some books. The milk crates will sell for two bucks a piece. There's another little handful of money there. And you never know what you might find down in here. Looks like mostly paperwork and books. But we came down here to pick up that other one anyways, so might as well pick this up for 20 bucks. Alright, we've pretty much gotten all of the big furniture out of here. We'll take a look at that later. Some clothing we found so far. A jersey. Uh, a Nike NFL shirt. A nice overcoat. A good uh, microwave, nice and clean actually on the inside. Some little smalls, this is the first bag I've pulled out. And we'll see what we've got here. This looks like a whole bunch of gloves. There's a knee brace. Let's just dump it out. That's interesting. Star Wars, Darth Vader, Yoda. And looks like we got some hats in there, paperwork. Just going through a bag of clothes, came across these three pairs of shoes. So those are a trail here, and these are Nikes. Good little find. This big tote here is marked very fine china, set of dishes, please be careful. It's very heavy, we'll see what's inside. Well, the Gold Coast two-piece knife set, is it? Imagine it's in there, it feels like it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. That's nice. Huh. Another set, it looks like here. Another set of utensils. Stuff like this always sells well out of our store. Let's see what's underneath here. Some more kitchen utensils. Pots and pans. More pots and pans. Kind of an interesting piece. All right, looks like it's pretty much all pots and pans in there. A little bit of corral here. No fine job. Well, here's kind of a, an interesting little piece. A little. Rock. All right, keep on going. See what else we find. Got a bag of clothes here. What do we got? District Seven. The name on there. Ann Taylor. That's a nice shirt. Pair of jeans here, Hollister, nice. Definitely be able to sell those. What else do we got? Well, this is really soft. And if there's a name on this, that almost feels like it's uh, 
cashmere, which is so soft. Set that aside. Old college in. Uh, a pair of jeans all ripped up. Zoe Beth. All right, doesn't look like there's anything else that's too exciting in there. We'll finish sorting through that and we'll move on to the next one. Got this Playmate cooler. Looks like we got paperwork in here. Wow, from 1983, Baby Talk. Huh. Looks like paperwork, paperwork. Yeah, paperwork's all I'm seeing in there. I'll go through it and make sure it's all that's there. Then we'll go on to the next box. Let's see if this one's any better. Yeah, it's already looking a lot better. Here we go. What's this? Nike. That's a nice, that's a nice jacket though. That'll sell really well being Nike. Shots happen. Huh. Eh, those jeans are trashed. Too bad. Nice jeans. Some t-shirts. Here we go. What's this? NFL team sleepwear. Yeah, Steelers. Ah, they're all ripped up though. What are these? Yeah. Alright, I don't think there's anything else there. I'll make sure and then we'll go on to the next one. This is the first box that came out of the $20 locker. Don't really know what we're going to find in here. I don't expect anything too great, but you never know. It's a nice bag there, leather, full of paperwork. I'll take the paperwork out of there and sell that bag. It's nice. Myrtle Beach. Sand from Myrtle Beach. That's interesting. Got a little box here. Scrubs. That's kind of neat. Knowledge cards in the Civil Rights Movement. I got a $10 price tag on them. Here's another one. Knowledge cards, African American women. Another $10 price tag. That's good. Some good finds there. That uh, bulletin board's in pretty good shape. Sell that out of the store. Uh, looks like a lot of paperwork down in here. Looking through this quickly to see if there's anything real exciting. Here's another one. Here's a purse. Oh, sounds like it's got some change in it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see down in there, but there's a handful of change down in there. Uh, it looks like the rest of it's pretty much just paperwork. If I find anything great in there, I'll be sure to show you. Otherwise, I'll finish sorting through this and we'll go on to the next box. All right, I'm done going through this box. I did find another pack of those history cards and so uh, let's say we get two bucks a piece for those. There's eight dollars there. Uh, this was the change that I found in that purse. It's a dollar and twenty-three cents, and then I also found two forty-one cent stamps. So 
this box went a long way to paying for the locker. Let's see what else we get. Here's the next box. Right at the very top, 30 certificates. It's got a, a 449 price tag on it. We'll be able to get a dollar or two for that in our store. Lady and the Tramp. It's an old one, not in great shape. Let's see, is it colored in? No, we'll be able to sell that. Another good book. All right, looks like we've got a lot of paperwork down in here. A lot of folders. I'll finish sorting through there, and if I find anything exciting, I'll let you know. Here's our next box. Huh. I'm not seeing anything in that's really grabbing me. Of course, I'll sort through it, make sure there's nothing great in there. Might be some, uh, might be some CDs down in there. I'll go through it and see if there's anything great. I'll show you. I'm going through these milk crates right now, and I'm not filming these because so far they've all just been full of paperwork, and I don't think you guys want to just sit here and watch me sort through paperwork. But I did just find uh, these. Forever stamps, there's 14 of them on this sheet, so that's a pretty good little find. All right, here's another box. Again, this is mostly full of paperwork, but I'm finding a lot of these like dry erase little boards, and I'm saving them. I mean, there's a ton of them. I don't really know what we'll get for them, but I mean, say at least 50 cents a piece. I'll look them up and see what, what they cost new. Here's some ones that are blackboards too. Uh, these are These are great items, actually. They will sell really well, I imagine. But I mean, so there's there's a few bucks worth of just boards there. And it looks like the rest of this box has, you know, the same sort of thing in it. A lot of paperwork, a lot of a lot of box or uh, books, books and paperwork. So I will finish sorting through there. I'll show you if I find anything real interesting, and then we'll move on to the next box. Here's another box. Kind of interesting, none of these boxes have been uh, sealed up. They, they're all open, all packed very poorly. I don't really know if, if someone kind of went through here and cleaned it out. That'd be my guess. Somebody came in here and took everything they wanted out of it. But, you know, you never really know with these lockers. There could be somebody just packed it up this way. This is interesting. A whole bunch of uh, play money in there. Look at that. One of those train whistles. Save that. It's nice. American Girl book. A whole bunch of cards in here. I'll see if there's any gift cards. Oh, business cards. There's a Kroger card. Just drop them in there if they're gift cards. Don't want to show the uh, driver's license there. Cookie Monster. Look at that. Little Tin Man. There's that Kroger card. I'll save on. Hold on to that. Check it later. See if it has anything on it. Little first aid kit here. And a pencil sharpener. Army man. There's a Christmas ornament in there, all wrapped up. We'll save that. There's some change in here. 
and looks like that's about it. All right, well, I will finish grabbing this change, and then we will go on to the next box. Here's another milk crate uh, that was full of paperwork on the top, just like all the other milk crates we've been finding so far. But once I got to the bottom here, obviously you can see some different stuff in here. This is a, uh, I believe that's a satellite radio. So I'll check that out. Looks like we also have a couple watches in here. See if there's a brand on this. Wow. Justice something. I'm gonna have to look that up. And we got another one here. This is a citizen. That's nice. It's a good watch. A citizen's watch, so that's nice. It's a good little find. Oh, we got some Vitamalt classic. Oh, fantastic. Throw that away. Got some handkerchiefs here that are monogrammed. Oh, here's some more watches. What do we got here? A Seek. Is it uh, Seiko? Is that how you pronounce it? S E I K O? Seiko? I don't know. It's just a watch band. All these have tags with them that, like, this one says needs battery, so I'm guessing these, oh, it's a Pulsar. Man, this is a good little find. Even, you know, with the other issues, these things will sell on eBay. What do we got for a brand here? It's a Timex. So, I mean, we're not talking real high-end brands, but decent brands here. What's this one? Citizen, another Citizen watch. One more in here, looks like. Uh, I can't read that. All right, well that's pretty good. Pretty good little find there in the bottom of this milk crate. It looks like everything else in there is garbage. All right, well, we'll move on to the next one. I'll show you quickly all the items that we're going to uh, save out of here, all the smalls. Some clothing here, some good clothing, a lot of Nike. Um, so, good brand there. Uh, here is one tote of stock. This is the tote that we got. All this stock came out of the locker I paid $20 for. Uh, all of that lamp there, all of these milk crates we're going to save and sell. We get two bucks a piece for milk crates like this. Uh, and there's, oh, uh, 11 milk crates there, so $22. And that's all out of the $20 locker. We got two totes of smalls out of that uh, $60 locker. There and there. Uh, all these are the smalls that came out of these lockers. All the decent smalls came actually out of the $20 locker, so we'll take a look at this quick. Got some stamps. Always a good thing to find. Got this old uh, book, this children's reader from 1929 is the copyright date inside of it. Got this satellite radio. Looking at this one, I think in this condition I can sell it for like maybe 20 bucks, maybe a little bit more online. Almost two dollars in change. And then these watches. Now none of these watches are currently running, but I think there's some value here for us. There's a Pulsar there, Timex, uh, some others here. Seiko watch there. Uh, and then here in the end is two Citizen watches. And this one on the very end, I think, is the most valuable watch that we got out of here. Uh, that's called an Aqualand. And it's apparently fairly rare. I think in this condition, I should be able to get between $50 and $100 for just this watch here. And that's not bad considering we paid $20 for the entire locker. This dresser came out of that $60 locker. And I like this dresser, it's kind of unique. It's got a lot of nice and small drawers in it, lots of drawers. It's a nice, nice dresser. This glass top table and four chairs.
this little glass table. Here's the cedar chest that was in there. And it's still really fragrant. It smells really great. This end table was in there. This rocking chair was in there. The desk. This uh, little end table. And then this little glass desk here. We also got this bedroom set out of the $60 locker. Well, for $80, I think that was a pretty good load of stuff. The furniture in there is worth about $600 for us. Uh, I'd say there's about $200 of small items in there. And then uh, those watches, I think we'll do okay with, with some of those. I think we'll have around $1,000 of value total. So that's pretty good with an $80 investment. It doesn't always happen when you buy these cheap lockers. Sometimes you just end up with trash. But those ones, uh, we, we're going to do pretty well with them. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And if you have not already, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this.